Right now, undocumented immigrant wanted. The Polk County Sheriff's Office is looking for a man they claim caused a crash that killed an unborn boy. The victim is distraught, and Sheriff Grady Judd wants justice. News Channel 8's Ryan Hughes is in Polk County with the story. Courtney Belser overcome with emotion. When I hit the steering wheel, like, I felt the impact. And I just knew something was wrong. The 22-year-old from Davenport behind the wheel of this car along U.S. Highway 1792 when Sheriff Grady Judd explains an illegal immigrant pulled in front of her causing the crash. He jumps out and runs. Newsflash. You know why he runs? He has no driver's license. You know why he has no driver's license? He's here illegally from Mexico. Did you hear me? He's here illegally from Mexico. This is a security system picture of Bionel Servan Gomez buying beer at a store two hours before the wreck. He hasn't been seen since the crash two weeks ago. Belser has focused on her family and is dealing with the terrible fact that the crash caused her to lose her baby boy, who was due next month. I've never felt anything like this because, like, I felt like he's still supposed to be there. Her husband and one-year-old daughter were in the car and are okay. They had hopes of adding to their family that were dashed in an instant. I was so close, you know, and I felt him every day, and now I don't, you know, it's just, it's just hard. Polk investigators also want to find this woman who was caught using Servan Gomez's credit or debit card recently. If you have any information that could help detectives in this case, call the Polk County Sheriff's Office. Reporting tonight in Winter Haven, I'm Ryan Hughes, News Channel 8.